Not my most successful strafing run, especially when my controls have been inverted. However, just look at the size of this map. Welcome to Battlefield 2042 on Shadow PC. Hey everyone and welcome to the Cloud Gaming Extreme channel. Today Battlefield 2042 is live if you have EA Play Pro or if you have early access. So let's have a quick look at my Shadow PC settings. You see that I've switched over to the H.265 codec and I've got a 70 megabits per second bitrate cap. I have a 1440p 120Hz monitor. So let's have a look at the in-game settings. You see that I've set everything up to high here and turned motion blur and film grain off. Everything else is set to high with dynamic resolution also disabled and NVIDIA reflex low latency also enabled. Flying around takes quite a bit of getting used to. From the beta it does look like they have lowered the texture quality on high. We're not seeing as much fine detail on that desert from afar but when you get up close you do see the grains a little bit better. The draw distance is still very good here and I have upped my field of view to 80 as I find that the 50 by default is just a little bit too low. But with inverted controls I do lose control of the helicopter but I've now figured out where that control is. Overall we're holding over 30 frames per second most of the time flying around above 40 frames per second which is extremely good for Shadow PC. Considering this is quite a hefty graphical game with so much going on we are definitely holding a rock steady 30 plus. Now fiddling with some of the settings and bringing some into medium will most likely help that stabilize if you want to get it closer to 60. I do love this class with the sentry gun though and they have started highlighting the enemies which I didn't see in the beta when they are in proximity. So as you can see Shadow PC is performing exceptionally well here and just being able to flip between infantry, air vehicles and also tanks is just absolutely fantastic. Especially with the H.265 codec, I don't notice any input latency. I do need to tweak my mouse settings on the sensitivity side, but there was no real input latency for me at all here. It's just getting used to the actual game and the controls in general. As this was only my second match, I am still getting used to those controls, but flattening people and sniping from a tank is always good fun, especially when you get two in one. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be diving into Battlefield 2042 and what do you think of Shadow PC at the moment. They have changed their timelines. If you are in one of the popular data centers, you can now get activated within potentially three hours, which is absolutely stunning. But it will cost you £30 a month. Still a great option for the boost package. And as you can see, if you want to play Battlefield 2042 in the cloud, it is a great option and the only real virtual PC option that is available right now. I'll leave you with a bit more gameplay here so you can see a bit of gameplay without me talking. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, stay up to date with all things cloud gaming, and we will see you next time. Now. 